What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Derek S. YouTube channel. Definitely want to thank you for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about this little contraption that I put together. Um, this isn't something I invented. Uh, many other people are doing it, but I wanted to do a video on it and kind of discuss uh, how I put it together. Now, basically, if you guys don't know what this is, if you're a keeper of bees, then you definitely want to be checking your bees for the varroa mite and one way to do that is to put half a cup of bees into this bottle with um, some rubbing alcohol and then you would shake those bees I don't know for about a minute or so and then flip it over and all of your bees will be stuck in this bottle while the alcohol and varroa mites would fall to the bottom in this bottle and then you can count how many bees I mean how many uh varroa mites you can find in there and uh, approximately half a cup is about 300 bees so you would take your percentage from there so for instance if you had three um, varroa mites out of your half a cup of bees that would be a one percent varroa mite count and then you can make decisions based off of what you find if you want to treat your bees or if you want to wait another week or so and whatever you have to do because Varroa mite control is very important into keeping bees. If you can't control varroa mite, you will lose your bees. And sometimes you may have bees and they go into a winter perfectly healthy, but come spring those bees are dead or gone or they've absconded. So definitely want to do that. So let's just go ahead and jump into what did I do. First of all, I got this uh, gutter seam and sealant from Home Depot. It's something that I had because um, of some other repairs I did around the house I got a mason jar lid that um, you know just typical mason jar lid I'm gonna use this or I did use this as a reference to uh, um, my pattern to what I needed to cut to fit the bottles um, I use these heavy-duty snips I don't know exactly what you call these but um, I got this also from the local Home Depot and also this uh, what I guess most people call hardware cloth is basically metal some type of metal fencing type material sorry about the screaming background uh, guys we have neighbors playing um, outside so um, do excuse that but uh, let me get this set up and I'll get back to you so basically what I did was um, I took this hardware cloth laid it out and I put the lid right on top and I used this Sharpie to draw out what I needed to cut all the way around this lid. Then I took that piece that I cut out and I stuck it inside of one of the lids right in there. And um, I didn't glue it or anything. It was a perfect fit, so I didn't think I needed to glue it. And um, the next step was I took this uh, gutter sealant and I put it along the seams I mean along the top of one of the lids right on the inside there put it right around all the way around I put that sealant and then I stuck the other lid upside down on top of it and I let it set for about 24 hours and um, you know I got two mason jars here and you could this one is the wide mouth mason jar lid you could do it with the small mouth and um, and those bottles work as well I can you know mason jar lids are, are uh, interchangeable as long as they're the wide mouth um, I would be able to use it with this system and get it done the same way so like I said you would put alcohol in here let me go ahead and take that off so I would put alcohol in here I don't know I guess about a little bit below half or right at halfway and then I would take a half a cup of bees, pour them in, and yes, the bees will die, but it's part of beekeeping, so it's something that needs to be done. I'd put those bees in there, they would die. I would then put the lid on, the jar where the bees are. If I can get this on there. Put that lid on, and then I would stick this on top of it and screw it on as well shake up the bees flip it over 
and then count my mites and that would give me my count look guys girls ladies and gentlemen out there if you have any questions definitely leave them down there in the comment section i do read them and i will get back to you asap so definitely leave me your comments suggestions or anything like that and i will get back to you next video i'm definitely going to be um testing this system out my only concern with this is maybe the alcohol might eat this ceiling away if that happens i'll definitely report it to you guys and let you know how it came out so stay tuned for the next video as i will be demonstrating the full process of checking for varroa mice so with that being said thank you subscribe to the channel and thumb up the video and be sure to share it with someone um, i do appreciate it until next time have a great day